we're going to talk about five life skills that you can obtain while you're doing your rideshare driving. The title of this video is Rideshare Driving Isn't Just About Making Money. And stick around at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some really nice footage of the Pacific Ocean. In fact, I was going to do this video from the Pacific Ocean where I am in the parking lot, but it's too windy. So I'm doing it from my car and in the background there is the Pacific Ocean. So everybody, this is Jay Crater and today we're going to jump into five skills that you can uh, improve uh, that will help you in your life while you are doing your rideshare driving. So I like to make money just as much as the other guy. Uh, in fact, just last week, I had a good week. I worked 60 hours. I made $2,800. <clears throat> I actually made over $200 in tips. So yeah, so we want to make money. That's an important thing. But there are five uh, skill sets that I've been able to develop over the last two years of driving. And I wanted to share with you what those are. Number one is con conversation skills. So the ability to communicate effectively. And what's primarily important in the art of conversation is the skill of listening. And as rideshare drivers, we have a unique opportunity to learn how to listen, to ask a few questions and then just shut up and listen, and to notice how valuable that function is in other people's lives. So I might say, how are you doing today? Or it's a beautiful day, isn't it? And just, I stop, and then I stop. And then I just listen. And it's amazing how much people value someone who's actually focused on them and listening. So that's the first skill set you can really improve upon and learn while you're driving. Second skill is patience or tolerance, right? So life throws a lot of things at us and it's really easy to get, very, to get upset. Uh, as a rideshare driver, we can practice every day how to become more patient and more tolerant of situations and of other people. Every day, if you work, especially if you do this full time, you're gonna run into some people that rub you the wrong way, or they say something that might offend you. Um, so the trick then is to just take it, just listen to it and don't react to it. Be patient and tolerant. So that's a huge skill set. It comes in very handy with relationships as well. Third skill set is developing empathy okay to understand how other people are feeling so it's a little game that i play when people are talking i imagine what it's like to feel the way they feel right they may be having a bad day they may be irritable they may be happy and to be able to kind of jump into somebody else's skin and feel what they feel is a huge a huge skill a huge skill if you want to better understand your partner and you can feel how they feel uh that can diffuse a lot of arguments and a lot of fighting. So this is a huge skill uh, set that you can improve upon because every day we come across people and they express their feelings. So what does it feel to be them? What does it feel to be them? That's the question to ask yourself. The fourth one is to develop a sense of gratitude or a feeling that life's okay. So sometimes uh, I get somebody in my car and they obviously make a lot of money. I've picked them up at a beautiful home in a rich area in San Francisco and it's real easy for me to think wow they're doing so much better than me and the skill set to, to work on here is to have a sense of gratitude you know I'm just grateful that I have a great job that I'm able to travel the world uh, that my kids are healthy and if I just keep reminding myself of what I have instead of comparing myself to other people uh, that's an ongoing process of learning how to remain in gratitude and I find that when I am in gratitude, my life works a whole lot better. Now, the fifth and final one that I listed here is meditation or staying grounded. So every day we have things that happen. And for, for me, there's what I'm calling them are triggers. Certain things that happen and it's pretty automatic that I'm gonna get triggered and feel uh, some kind of an upset. Traffic is one of them. When I sit in traffic, I notice how my body just wants to kind of get upset. Um, and when somebody makes me wait uh, to pick them up. So these are two triggers. And what I've learned is to recognize that those are just triggers, that it's not an automatic that when those things happen that I have to get upset, I have to start swearing, yelling at people, things like that. So 
uh, over time, I've managed to, to just notice that those are feelings that come up, just notice them and not react to them. But rather, if I want to, I can respond, but I can do it calmly and, um, and, and not have it be such a big deal, right? It's just part of life. So those are the five things that, um, that I have found valuable uh, in addition to making money. Now let me share with you a little bit of footage from the Pacific Ocean. So thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the Rideshare Guy has a great YouTube channel. Harry puts out great content. So I invite you to uh, like this video, leave a comment if you have something to say, and by all means subscribe if you haven't already. And this way you'll be notified whenever there's a new video coming online. So everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Y'all have a great day. Be safe out there.